This is John for the Everyday Fan Sports. Today, I have the pleasure of being on the beat with Chicago Red Star, Jenna Bike. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Welcome to Chicago. I know I'm a little late in the party, but welcome to Chicago. Oh, thank you so much. Now, you, you had an outstanding career at Boston College. Um, I know you were going for a, a nursing degree, a career in nursing. Did you ever think about playing pro as you were going through college? Yeah, I think I honestly wanted to play pro the most and nursing was kind of something really great that I could fall back on um, if it didn't work out. So I got really lucky that I was passionate about uh, both careers, but I think playing pro was something that I was like, I can only do this while I'm young. Um, so I want to try and make that work first. So how was it when you put on your first pro jersey? Um, it was surreal. It was a really long time coming. I was um, in college for two extra years um, due to injury and then the COVID year. And then I spent a really long time as a trialist at my first club. So um I think it was just like the months and months of being a trialist and like waiting and I'm already in this environment. Um, the moment I was able to put on the Jersey and step on the field was just like everything like coming together finally. And when did you start playing soccer? Uh, very young. I think probably five or six wow, okay. and doing the basic like AYSO rec league stuff and just every single year, like doing something more and more and more until, you know, I got to where I am today. And any idea when you actually kind of realized that you were really good at it? Um, I know my parents always talk about it because both of them didn't play soccer and we didn't have anyone in uh, my family who really played soccer. So they had no idea. Like, coaches would come up and be like, you know, she should like look at travel or a uh, club and all that stuff. And they're just like, yeah, okay. Like <laughs> whatever. Um, so I think it probably wasn't until like high school that we were like, okay, well, you know, maybe this is something I can play in college or, um, you know, this is the sport that I want to focus on because I play basketball and softball too. Um, so really then I think everything started getting like set into motion. And you're a forward now. Have you always played forward? I have always played forward. Um, and it's been recently that I've been transitioning into more of a defensive position. Um, but yeah, I told all of my coaches like through every step, I will play anywhere and be anywhere that you guys need me. So um forward by like the usual metrics but I'll, I'll do anything I need to how was that determined like when you first started playing that you know how did you quote unquote become a forward you know how did that become your regular role I think just uh scoring goals and um being dangerous um <laughs> just like kind of those two things like will classify it like a younger player if they're just like disruptive and okay. will run at people and stuff. And then like, I love to dribble and that was the other thing. So I think I was kind of more of a liability if I was put in the back line <laughs> <laughs> um, at that age. So did you ever play goalie at all? I played goalie a long, long, long time ago. I think I had one PK shootout in like middle school my first uh, away tournament. I think it was in like New Hampshire or something. And I think that was the first and last time. <laughs> not, not your not your thing to play golf? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so how did you end up in Chicago then? Um, it was kind of like I wanted to like, I wanted to move forward with my career and I didn't know where that would be, whether it would be in Europe or in a team within the NWSL. And I think just with talking to Chicago, like for me, it was a good fit. And for them, it was a good fit. And everything kind of just fell into place. 
Um, and yeah, it like ended up working out really well, I think for the both of us. And it, it started from me just wanting to like move forward in my career and kind of like see, you know, where and who like I can help the most and like what team would help me the most. Had you ever been to Chicago before? Um, one time in middle school, I think, uh, just for a tournament. Uh, so very briefly, I didn't really see much of the city. So now that I'm living here, I'm able to do a little more exploring. And, and enjoying some food, I assume, some good Chicago food. Yes. I, I haven't tried deep dish, though. <laughs> but maybe. You, you will eventually. They'll, they'll get you on that. <laughs> And so I assume you've been out to um, Seatgate, Seatgate Stadium. Any any thoughts on the stadium? Yeah, so we train there um, and practice there. And it's nice. It's cool that, like, we have everything in the stadium. Um, we do our locker rooms there, meals, training facilities. So we're all in kind of one spot, which has been nice. Just, like, driving to work and then every day, like, seeing the field that you'll play games on is, is kind of cool. And I, I think your first game is March 25th? Yes, in San Diego. You guys ready for that game? Yeah, I think we are. It's been a long time coming. It's definitely been a longer preseason than anyone's used to, but it's given us so much, much time to prepare and play games. And I think the team's looking good and feeling confident. So, yeah, I think we're all ready and excited. Oh, I can't wait. I, I will be out there. I can't wait to to, to, to come out there. I, I've, I've been out to see the beautiful stadium on the south, uh, kind of southwest side of Chicago. I love it, so I can't mm. wait to be out there. When you're, when you're not playing soccer, what do you do to, to uh, you know, to get away from it? Um, I go on a lot of walks around the city. Um, I recently, one of my teammates, Emily Boyd, has gotten me into hot yoga, so we'll do that on the side, sometimes on, like, a lighter practice day or on an off day. Um. And just the basic stuff, read, watch TV, recover. Um, I, it's nice. I have my own little apartment and set up. So I, I really like take advantage of all the time I get to relax. So it's it's been good. Now you said recover. How often do you think, what is a, a, a weekly practice schedule for you guys? Um, so we practice about five to six times per week. Um, and this is just preseason. It changes once we get into games, but about five or six times and um it'll be a mix of like a really hard day with a light day and a medium day and some lifts so um kind of will go like three in a row off day three in a row off day and it's been good it's been keeping us all like in shape and working hard but also it gives us time to take the like much needed rest and before I let you go, I did want to thank you for your service. I know you were a, you were a nurse during the the COVID years, very tough time. Um, it had to be rough on you to to do that, but it, as a you know, I I appreciate all you did during that time. I appreciate all the frontline workers. It's it's a phenomenal thing that you guys did. Thank you. I really appreciate that. But before I let you go, too, um, is there anything you want to promote your social media, anything like that? Um. I guess I, <laughs> I'm so bad at social media. <laughs> I need to be better. I tell myself I'm going to post more, but my Instagram is at Jenna Bike. Just my name. It's very simple. I I promise I will post more and be better <laughs> on it. And <laughs> well, I found you there and, and you, you have started <laughs> posting. So, and also check out the Chicago Red Stars uh, website to, to find out more information about Jenna and the team. So I I really appreciate your time. I wish you a lot of luck. Well, again, welcome to Chicago. I'll be out there cheering. I hope you guys have a fantastic year, and I hope you have a lot of fun and success. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, Jen. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.